and they bring smiles to lots of visitors. Now researchers hoping to study the health of dolphins in a different way. What they're hoping to find out just ahead. Well, dolphins are known as one of the most intelligent marine mammals in the world. And a study being done right here in the island is hoping to aid in the protection and conservation of these aquatic creatures. KITV's Jordan Segundo explains. The Dolphin Quest Oahu team at the Kahala Hotel and Resort has teamed up with marine biologists to study the lung health of these marine mammals. The data collected through this study will provide veterinarians a new way to assess the health of dolphins in the wild in situations like mass strandings. These animals, we know their health, we know their age, so we can use these as baseline animals and then transfer this information, transfer the knowledge to animals in the wild and then assess health of wild populations. Dr. Andreas Fallman is one of the lead researchers in the study. He created a non-invasive device called a pneumotechometer, a fancy word for flow meter. It's a device that then can measure the respiratory flow, so the amount of air that comes out of the animals when they exhale, and then we measure the amount of air that goes in. Then we also have a gas analyzer, so we can measure the end, the expired oxygen and carbon dioxide. Also leading the study is dolphin trainer Julie Rocco Levine. She's been training dolphins for more than 17 years. She says getting the dolphins to participate in these studies, both in the water and on land, takes a little TLC. It's all been accomplished through positive reinforcement and basically taking the end behavior and breaking it down into these small achievable steps. For everyone involved, they say it's a step into the protection and conservation of these beloved marine mammals. Our training philosophy is, is based on trust. Hi. Hello, handsome. Respect for an individual, creativity, and kindness. So every one of our animals here are so well loved. Jordan Segundo, KITV Island News. And they really are such beautiful animals. No, yeah, so smart.